should be examined for its size and position. Tongue movement, muscular coordination and position control the dangers during speech, mastication and deglutition. Coming to the size of the tongue. Size can be classified into normal, enlarged and small. The presence of a large tongue which decreases the stability of the denture and it compromises the impression making and the tongue biting is most common after the insertion of the dentures and the small tongue does not provide adequate lingual peripheral C. According to House, the tongue can be classified into class 1, class 2 and class 3. In class 1, normal in size, development and function, sufficient teeth are present to maintain this normal form and function. In class 2, the teeth have been absent long enough to permit a change in form and function of the tongue. In class 3, it is excessively large tongue. All the teeth have been absent for an extended period of time, allowing for abnormal development of the size of the tongue. Insufficient denture can sometimes lead to development of class 3 tongue. Next, going to position of the tongue. The position of the tongue greatly affects the ability of a patient to successfully wear complete denture. According to Dr. C. Wright, he classified the tongue position into three, that is class 1, class 2 and class 3. In class 1, the tongue lies on the floor of the mouth with the tip forwards and slightly below the incisal edges of the mandibular anterior teeth. That is class 1. Class 2, the tongue is flattened and also broadened but the tip is in normal position. And class 3 is, the tongue is retracted and depressed into the floor of the mouth with the tip curled upwards, downwards or assimilated into the body of the tongue. Class 1 position is ideal because in such a case the floor of the mouth is at an adequate height. Hence the lingual flange of the denture contacts it and maintains the peripheral seal of the denture. But in both class 2 and class 3 cases the floor of the mouth is too low. Hence, the dentist tends to overextend the denture flange. This will lead to loss of retention instead of obtaining peripheral seal because the denture flange impinges on the tissue and gets displaced during the activation of the floor of the mouth.